Hello reformers and welcome back. Now when we left off we were in the new world and we were just capturing our very first thief from the Aztecs. Now the main problem with that is, as many of you may know, they basically brought every single vassal that they had and that totaled about 1600, 1700 units. And I decided, hey, you know what? This is just not worth it. We gotta, we gotta just go. You know, we gotta just leave. And so I escaped from there, got on my ship, and then I thought to myself, okay, what are, what, what other options do we have? If we're not gonna attack the Aztecs, obviously I'm gonna try to do my very best to, shall we say, facilitate more colonies over there because that's gonna give us a good amount of cash and it's gonna, you know, give us something extra to do when we're a little bit bored of doing battles and sieges and things like that, because it breaks up the monotony a little bit. Anyway, as you can see, I'm currently speaking to Emperor Constantinos, and we are going to offering we're gonna offer him, yes, my sword and vassalage. Yes. You as monarch is willing to join our cause. We are honored to hear that, but you and your vassals have to abandon the troops of your faction. Yes, we will very much do that. Let us see what actually happens with the Mithridians. Because for the most part, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be good enough. You know what I mean? Like, for example, I don't want them to just stand there on their little island not doing anything. By the way, we're at war against the Swadians. So, that's going to be pretty interesting. Yes, your kingdom no longer holds any land. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so as you can see, this is where we currently are. There's a huge amount of vassals in the area. And I've uncovered a little bit of the Mithridians area. I first went over here, because this was the first port that I came to. And then I thought, oh, okay, I've got to go over here instead. All right, so we still have Nordic Huskals, which are absolutely fantastic. I actually have a couple of trained bowmen from the Aztecs, hilariously enough. They're probably not going to be very good for us. Now, which, uh, <laughs> which thief did he actually give us? This one? Now I have no idea. Uh... Character? No. Yes, your estates are Atheon. Okay, so our prestige is now this. 2300, by the way. And, uh, yes. You belong to the upper class and are part of the Patricians. You do not hold any title. The Patriciate is a separate class with a certain distance to other people. People holding the Patricianship are mostly mayors, stewards, and minor landowners. There is only a small barrier to the class of m no, no mil uh, nobility. Yes, there we go, if I could speak. And that is our thief over there. So I guess it would be a good idea to head over there. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a little bit of fighting against the Swedians because I've actually seen a Swedian vassal in the area. Ah, Quinius, welcome back. The glorious emperor has granted you a noble title. You are now a baron. Congratulations, and be proud to belong to the nobility. Ah, oh, very nice. Well, I like that. I like being a baron. So we are now Baron Diggory Dagnabbit. Well, I guess I should probably change that around then, shouldn't we? Baron Diggory Dagnabbit. Yes, there we go. So that, that that's that's going to obviously make a, a little bit of sense, isn't it? So now Cedric has to call us Baron. Hmm, yes. Take that. Take that, Cedric. Okay, so yeah, let's go over to the other port and then we'll see if we can upgrade my village. It seems to me like the Mithridians are actually in a really good position for de defense and things like that, but not really so much in the way of attacking things. I'm not entirely sure how effective they're going to be against the Swadians, but let's see how it goes. Let's go over here, though, and see if we can upgrade this a little bit. I'd like to get a couple of these guys as well. Okay, so speak with the village elder. Maybe we could upgrade this. Yes, I want to manage... Ah, there we go. I want to place some new buildings. Assign new jobs. New tax level. Get me to the treasury. I want to get information. Okay, place new building. Whoa, okay. We currently have zero florins. This is crazy good. I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do here. Assign jobs. Look at that. That's cool. The village's population is 41, and there are currently 41 unemployed villagers. They need a job. All right. So let's get 10 blacksmiths, 10 woodcutters, 10 farmers, and 10 stonecutters. There's one unemployed villager. Well, I guess he can just relax. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, so I'd like to set a new tax level. Let's put the tax level on average. Actually... I'm going to put it on... I'm going to put it... Actually, you know what? 
you know what? I'm I'm actually going to put it on no should I put it on no tax? Uh I don't know. Higher than average makes one extra person leave the village. Okay, so if I put it on this, this this causes two people to join the town, but generates only 2,000 florins all per week. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's do very low then, just to get a little bit out of it. And we can place some new buildings. So, so what about a stockpile? A stockpile increases overall production, simply because the village can store more goods. Prestige plus 20. Creating this would require several phases. First, your people will build up the construction site, then the construction phase begins. In this phase, you need to order the peasants. Oh my goodness. Via the drafting table to bring resources to the site. When all required resources are delivered, you can finish it. But so, we cannot afford this. We lack 10,000. Ah, oh, stone walls. Increases the time needed to raid the village. Wow. Okay. Pretty crazy. I'm not going to be doing any of this building stuff just yet because I'd like to get myself in a pretty decent spot first. So in other words, I'd like to buy something in Mithridius. So let's go to Sylphaea once again. Hopefully no one's going to raid my village. I'd very much appreciate it if they didn't. And we have some Mithridian pikemen. Hopefully they're going to be pretty good. Who knows? Maybe they're going to be good. Maybe they're not. I haven't actually, I haven't used them. I haven't used their 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 forces before. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, so let's go all the way around. Maybe we'll see a couple of Swadians. Uh, uh, did I see some Swadians just there? Are they being sneaky? No. Okay, it seems like it seems like no so far. I did see some Swadians though. I saw a Swadian with 110 units. So I'm a bit worried about that. Anyway, let's go into Mithridius and buy some property. It is about time that we do that. Let's... Ooh, we, we actually almost have enough for a noble great house. So it might be... Yeah, it might actually be a good idea for us to do that. Instead of getting the other thing. So I guess I'm going to try that. Is there a tournament nearby that I can do? <laughs> uh, I'll do this off screen, of course. Okay. Kuror, Riverchig, Halmar, and Aldurius. Oh dear, that's not very good at all, is it? Okay, so visit the local church. Shall we see if I can convert? Shall I, shall I convert myself to the Mithridians' religion? Because that's obviously going to make things a little bit easier for us in the long run in terms of marketplace. Okay, I want to become Christian. Is that it? Oh, that is, that's it. That's very easy. You're now fully recognized. There we go. You've become Christian. Wow, that was easy. That was way too easy in my opinion, but okay. That is, that is perfectly fine. <laughs> Way too easy? I, I think that's fine. Way too easy is fine for me. Alright, so yeah, we do have a couple of things to deal with in terms of the colony import lines. But that's not a problem at all. Once we have additional properties, we're going to be absolutely fine. So, we currently have a war to go for. So, let's let's do a little bit of war, warring. Warring, yes. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of warring, shall we? Okay, so where do we have to go? I guess Zendar. Zendar seems to be the most likely place. Okay. Oh, right. So we might be at war against the Rodox reasonably soon. Oh, what's going on here? Hello there. It seems like there's a bit of a, a bit of a fight going on. I'm gonna gonna turn up and see what I can do to help. Oh, seems like they don't need do, no. They don't need help. Look at that. One out of 37. They certainly do not need help. Oh, that's a shame. I really wanted to do battle against the Swadians. I haven't actually fought... Have I fought the Swadians in this? I don't think I've fought the Swadians in this mod before. Because I've literally only fought the Mithridians before, I think. And the Saranids. And I think I fought the Zendarians a little bit, but not that much. So that's interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so let's place our ship over there. And let's go into Swadian lands and see if we can do something. I think it's going to be kind of fun to find out whether they are, whether they're worth anything, you know, whether they can actually hold, hold their stuff, you know. Okay, so let's see if we can, maybe we could take something actually. Should we try and take a castle? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Oh, wow, 195. They already have 195 in there. Are you serious? It's not been that long since we've been in the new world. 193. But what do they actually have there? They have no knights. I don't actually know whether they have knights any further. Do they have knights anymore? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Ah, hello, Fredericus. Come back here. I'm much faster than you. Ah, look at this. We gain a plus two battle advantage. Very nice. Thanks to our battle commander skill. 
Maybe we'll be able to catch him. There we go. We are able to catch him. However, there is someone else that has joined the battle. So this might be pretty bad for us. All right. Wait a minute. Let's actually just see who that is first. Oh, he's got 95. He does have some knights and some sharpshooters. He might be a bit of a problem. So let's just... Let's lure him over here first. Oh, okay. Apparently he doesn't want to fight us. He has some cannoneers as well, which might be a bit of a problem. Harringoth Castle looks pretty... Ah. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe it looks pretty good for us right here, but... That's the thing. Are the Mithridians actually going to help me? That's the biggest problem that we have right now. Are they going to help me or are they just going to stand there not doing anything? Harringoth Castle might actually be a really, really good thing for us to go for. It's a siege tower. Really? Ah, <sighs> okay. What about Praven then? Ooh, okay, let's not go for that. Cedrus. Cedr oh, it's King Cedrus actually. That's the king himself. Oh, Atheon has just been raided. How fantastic. Yes, my village has just been raided almost instantaneously. How, I mean, how am I supposed to defend it from here? I possibly can't. It's insanely difficult. There's no way I'd be able to go all the way back there in that time. Oh, this guy did not decide to go in there? Big mistake. Okay, 4.8 versus 5.7. Let's do this. There we go. I am Commissar. Yes. <laughs> Almost Commissar. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be a bit that would be a bit silly, I think. But anyway, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can do a little bit of damage against these guys and see if we can take them out. I mean, I, what I'd like to do is obviously take them prisoner for the most part. Taking them prisoner would be pretty fantastic. So, let's see if we can do that. They don't have too many cavalry, but we do need to be... A Whoa, they actually have quite a few cavalry. Interesting. Whoa, they have a lot of lances too. Okay. This might be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Okay, so let's just tell our people to stand a little bit closer. These banner carriers are absolutely useless. I'm going to probably disable those afterwards. Oh, nice kill right there. Very nice kill, Diggory. And the camera is going absolutely weird because I'm going to... I'm having to hit people on their horse and it's very very difficult to do that unless you get the camera in the right angle yes so let's see if I can do a little bit of damage to their mounted units here obviously we're able to deal a huge amount because I'm using a blunt weapon and they're using pretty heavy armor as far as I can see and we seem to be doing a pretty good job so far and I'm kind of surprised I mean I'm kind of surprised by that I mean, you would have expected me to not really have the best of times here because, just, let's be honest, I mean, I don't have the biggest army. This guy is obviously outnumbered by us, however, so I guess that does make sense. Yes. Okay, there we go. Nice. And a little bit. Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay. We're getting a huge amount of companions leveled up as well, and we've taken one casualty. Huh. I did not know that the Swadians were this... I don't want to say weak, because I think this vassal in particular was probably not the greatest strength that we could potentially fight. I mean, obviously, King Cedrus is the greatest test of strength. But, uh, yeah, what we have right now... I, I didn't actually want to retreat, but I wanted to just check to see whether I could end the battle prematurely. Oh, Nazaria, very nice. Good work. And it seems like those guys are going to be retreating. So can I... I don't want to retreat, you see. I don't want to retreat from this battle. I just want to end it so that they, you know, rout and that would be it. But it seems like that's not implemented in this. There we go. Nice. Five Renown, not too bad. 47 kills. And he did manage to escape, which is unfortunate. Now, we do not need prestige. But I'm just going to let them go just to take a quick look and see whether that actually makes a difference to our prestige levels. Yeah, by the way, we also need food, so I'm going to need to go and do that. I bought everything that Mithridius had, so let's see. Yeah, that does actually make a difference. It does give us a little bit of prestige, so I actually don't know whether that's going to make any difference in the long run. Oh, yes, it does. Look at that. Required prestige for the next class. People must, call you, must greet you and call you my lord. The king granted you the title of baron and all title. However, this is the lowest title. Ah, okay. This is the lowest title. Okay, we're going to do our best to make sure that that is not the last they hear of us. Baron Diggory will advance to the next class. Thank you very much. 
Hello there, Berthus. And, oh dear. <laughs> Someone with many, many more units than us. He has five knights. Some heavy infantry. He has a lot of mounted sergeants. It looks like Swedians are very much the cavalry faction in this mod in comparison to native. I mean, yeah, you know, once they level up to man-at-arms and knights, they are pretty much cavalry focused. But before that, no, nah, not really. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. A Cathar castle? Ah, attack the hideout. We could actually do that. Should we do that? Let's do that. Because I haven't done this before. It would be quite nice to see what's going on here. We have a bunch of our Huskars with us. This should be kind of fun, because I've never infiltrated a Cathar castle before. And let's actually see whether we're up to the challenge. If we're not, then bad things are going to happen. And we're probably going to get taken prisoner and thrown in the dungeon. That would not be very good. I'm sure Cedric would be very pleased about that, but still. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. It seems absolutely fine. No problem at all. That was the extremist leader. Really? Okay. Hello. Hello, looter. You're very out of place here. I'm actually kind of surprised that there was a looter here. Why is there a looter here? That's weird. Okay, so let's see if we can do some damage. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, they're all the leaders. Oh, okay. There's many, many leaders. Have they ever heard of too many cooks spoil the broth? I don't know. Seems like... Seems like it has, though. It has certainly spoiled the broth, because they are all dying. So, how far does this actually go? Can I go all the way up here? That would be pretty crazy. But yeah, anyway, what I'm actually going to do is, between this episode and the next one, I'm going to scout out a bunch of different fiefs, and we're going to see which one is the easiest to take, and then we're hopefully going to be able to do that in the next episode. And hopefully... Emperor Constantinos will decide to give us the, that fief, whichever one it may be. That would be quite, you know, that would be quite nice. So let's see if we can just survive the onslaught of these Cathars. Seems pretty easy so far. And my Nord Huskars are doing a very, very good job. I seem to be making my way to the Lord's Keep at the moment. This is really cool, i got to say. I've, I've obviously never done this before, so... It's nice to have a bit of a change of pace. And it seems like we are good. And is that a chest over there? It doesn't look like, does it? I think that just looks like a bit of a, a, a bit of a weird texture. I think that looks like a bit of a weird texture. Yeah, that's not that is certainly not a chest. Thank you very much. Ah. Yes, my eyes are playing tricks on me because I'm very much like, oh, I'd like to have a treasure chest in here. That would be nice. But it's cool. Look at that. I'd like to be able to actually capture this, you know, take this over and make it my own because you can imagine a siege being in this particular castle. Can you imagine that? That would be pretty awesome. And I think that's actually it. Yeah, there's only one enemy remaining. Wow, we actually eliminated a huge amount of enemies. Open the door. Aha! Wow, there's actually door opening mechanics as well? I feel like this could have been utilized much, much more instead of just being a Cathar hideout. I feel like it should have been a real castle of some sort. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I mean, I obviously have not defended Mithridius or anything like that, so that is going to be interesting. What is actually happening down there? Why are all of my Huskars falling unconscious? Do I actually need to go down there myself? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh yes, I, I, I did actually forget. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well, we did manage to scatter them, I suppose, and that's pretty good. But <laughs> uh, as a side result, we did have a bit of a problem. Yeah, I actually forgot that in this mod, you take extreme amounts of damage from fall damage. So that's obviously... Uh, bit of a problem. I thought to myself, oh, I'm only going to take about 20 damage from falling down here, but no, no, no. Certainly not. Okay. Well, at least we found another Swedian vassal here, and we did take a quick look around the, you know, the Cathar stronghold, and we may have gotten some pretty decent loot, but I don't really mind too much, because again, it was a new experience, and that was kind of fun. So, anyway, let's see what we can do here. I still haven't disabled the banner carriers. I really need to do that. At least I've taken out his mount, 
and taken him out as well. Wow, just how much, look at how much damage I'm able to deal. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, especially, I mean, I'm using a random blunt weapon, but it seems like blunt weapons surely are my weapon of choice. Personally, if I were to recommend any weapon, I'd probably recommend that or a piercing weapon, but it really depends on what kind of piercing weapon, because some piercing weapons, for example, Morning Stars, are unbalanced, and so they, they do take a bit of, you know, they do take a bit of strength to wield, you know, and in, in turn it does obviously make them a bit slower as well to swing. We have so many Huskals, I think it's a bit unfair. It is a bit unfair to obviously attack these guys. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, never mind. I, we are we are trying our best to get as much money as possible after all. And, oh yeah, also, when I'm off screen, I'm going to do some tournaments as well, and I'm going to hopefully buy my next property in Mithridius, and then we'll hopefully be able to gain a bit of a profit. So that will be it for this episode. Hopefully we'll be able to find a good target for our next siege. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.